Caravaggio marks a change in the artistic style from the Renaissance. Working during a period dominated by the Counter-Reformation, Caravaggio sought to make his religious art more accessible and dramatic than that of the previous age. His use of chiaroscuro is particularly dominant in all of his work. It makes his paintings highly theatrical. In his calling of St. Matthew, for example, Matthew and the other publicans look nothing like New Testament characters and instead seem to be the kind of tax collectors one would expect to see in 1600 Italy. The same is true for many of Caravaggio's other figures. In this Madonna and Child, Mary and Jesus look much less like the idealized figures we would see from a Leonardo, Raphael, or Michelangelo, and more like an ordinary mother and child. Even though the figures look ordinary, there is no mistaking the powerful religious symbolism of Mary and her son crushing the serpent beneath their feet. His supper at Emmaus takes the account in Luke 24 from 1st century Palestine and conveys it to 17th century Italy. Notice the clothing of the two disciples, the presence of a waiter. Even the menu at the supper is highly Italian. This helped religious art viewers of the day insert themselves into the scriptures. When Caravaggio turns to secular subjects, he uses the same theatrical approach. A fortune teller reading a palm is again filled with a light source. It freezes an active moment. Finally, this card game is a true slice of life, right down to the cheating. Caravaggio's artwork is approachable, active, and dramatic, the hallmark of the Baroque style.